All right, here we go again. Appreciating comic book art, Stephen Platt, Soul Saga. You know, I never realized that this was published by Top Cow when this first came out. It's kind of interesting because he was such a big Extreme Studios guy at the time. Although I did hear that there was some kind of falling out between him and Rob. I'm not sure. But real quick, take a look at this cover. Just really amazing detail. I don't know if anyone's seen any of the videos that Stephen Platt put out. I don't know, was it the early 2000s art videos? But he's just an incredibly clean, detailed, line work penciler. Really cool, giant cover there, Soul Saga 1. Just take a second, take that all in. I think this guy right here, I think that was the character that he was drawing in that video. Which man, I really wish I could remember the name of that video. It actually helped me out quite a bit when I was when I was an early or young artist. So let's open this up and look at the beauty. First thing you'll notice is it's kinda of unique. You have the first page here on the right, and a lot of times you have the inside covers just black with credits. Well he took the opportunity here to really kind of set um, set the atmosphere and set the scene and just I think that's unique and really cool and the way this is drawn a lot of the heavy blacks the contrast of the red really gives you uh, a sense of the atmosphere that they're going for now Soul Saga I'm not sure how many it, issues they did of this but I always was really kind of surprised this never got turned into a TV series or some kind of uh, movie series because the concept was really cool the characters looked awesome you would think it's something you might even see today like on netflix so who knows it still might be a possibility but i think a big thing you're going to notice when we look through this issue is the amount of panels per page that stephen platt put in here i mean yeah you got some really cool you know bigger shots here you know it's kind of like a this is a two-page spread with, with some panels, but for the most part, he's just going to chalk this issue full of panel after panel after panel, which is really hard to do, and keep the detail, and keep it interesting. And I think that's one of the things he does in this issue very, very well. Just like we were talking about with David Finch not too long ago, Stephen Platt was great at textures really brought out like wear and tear on armor and metal uh, clothing the way the, the fabric fell and, and bent and crumpled some really cool designs there on the ships there you go although this is not 90s I believe this was uh, 2000s I believe I'd have to I forgot to look at the date but again Hot women. Can't get enough of them. I mean, that's all I gotta say. Some great cover colors in this book as well. You know, unlike a lot of the books we've looked at so far, there's not a lot of action in this book. There is towards the end that we're gonna get to here, but a lot of it's just story building. It does really remind me of like a TV series, to be honest with you. And I know that Stephen Platt ended up going into more of a storyboard for movies and TV series in his career as he's not in comic books right now. Um, and so, I mean, you kind of see that a little bit in his art right now, that that was kind of the way he was going, because he's really kind of putting this together. Like, you could see this actually being a storyboard for a live-action series. Oh, it's, there's a really awesome shot right there. I love how half of it's just faded into the black, of that ship right there. Very cool. Very cool shot right there. You know, the one thing you're gonna notice, I love the way that Stephen Platt cross-hatched and not necessarily disappearing things in the shadow, but you don't necessarily have to have all that detail right there. So, I mean, obviously that leg is, is farthest away from the camera. It's, it's 
maybe even out of focus it's in the shadow you know you got the concept of the leg is right there but you just cross hatch it it gives it a cool a dynamic look without making it look too odd uh, the, you know that that's a hard thing to do it's a hard thing to do and make it look make it look right and make it look natural and i believe he did a really good job of doing that <clears throat> now here you go on the page on the right Let's count, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14? Fifteen. Fifteen panels on that page. Wow. I mean, that's way beyond anything I would even want to attempt to do. And then you finish it off with a nice, nice giant shot there, some really, really good detail. And some old top cow stuff there, Michael Turner. And we're gonna get into Michael Turner's stuff at some point, for sure. But I don't wanna to get too too far away from Stephen Platt. So Soul Saga one, uh, these are kind of hard to find. So go out and get it. Is it's fun read, great art from a great artist. So hope you enjoyed this video and uh, give it a like, subscribe, share. I really appreciate it, and I will talk to you all later.